an object as the cutter and the cut, and now I just start, oh, I the wrong button, I subtract, subtract, uh, slice, and so on. Um, it's a very simple vocabulary. You can do slices. Uh, I should mention that we have this toolbox that floats over your hand. Uh, and it follows me anywhere into the scene. So let's say, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to save that for a second. Um, so uh, in addition to uh, the ability to change the geometry, not just arrange it, uh, we can move around with this two-handed interface. And this is what I mentioned before. I grab the world with my hand and I just push it and pull it. Uh, it's what we think of as kind of like 3D multi-touch and when we tell people, uh, you know, think of a, an iPad or an iPhone, they actually learn the interface much quicker. So I'm just pushing and pulling the way I would swipe images. Uh, I can do that with either hand, but I can also swipe in and out, up and down. Um, if I grab with both hands, I rotate the world. And if I grab with both hands, uh, you can see that red point is the center of scale and rotate. Then I can just pull myself into the scene. Uh, and uh, in the rift, uh, this has a very different effect. I mean, we're looking at, uh, so the balls are bigger on the screen, big deal. In the rift, they're huge. And if I put myself at the base of this and look up, I really have that sense of, of, uh, of scale and height. Uh, one of our uh, modelers who uh, had been using MakeVR for a couple of months, we were doing videos, um, got into the rift for the first time, and he, he was really scared. He said, I'm up high, I'm up too high. <laughs> He's like this, I can't stand it. And then he, he walked into a courtyard, and he said, I'm really in this courtyard. It, it was that sense of awe of uh, walking in for the first time. And everyone seems to have it, those who are uh, uh, in, in our case, those, those people who are not modelers, uh, they get into the, uh, the rift and they're modelers all of a sudden. They want to make things. They want to be doing that. Um, there are a number of other tools. I'll just show you a couple and then, uh, and then I'll give you the, the uh, rundown on the two-handed interface and just how to use it. So I'm bringing this up. I'm going to uh, uh, select the, uh, the sweep tool. And now we just grab one of these hoops and we just sweep it through space. Um, and these are also first class CAD objects. Uh, and if we were so inclined, we could 3D print these and we could export them in STL. And I, mean, I don't think you'd want to make these, but I guess <laughs> maybe you would. Uh, and they can be used to cut against others. And you saw in the video some, uh, some points where people were using uh, sweeps to, to make interesting objects. And just as part of that vocabulary, uh, you can do a lot. Um, I'll shrink this. Uh, there is, you know, there are lots of use cases for uh, make VR. Uh, just making things for, uh, to share with other people. Kind of the, the Minecraft mindset that uh, is a reason to come over the next horizon and see something brand new that somebody else made or have somebody come over and see yours, that's one. Uh, people who want to make things uh, in uh, 3D to be printed in 3D, uh, this kind of opens up the world to, uh, to people who never would tolerate a mouse and keyboard uh, modeling system. Uh, and then kind of everybody in this room who uh, kind of just has the sense of awe or the, the for speaking for myself, just the, the desire for the, the feel of a world sliding over your eyes. You know, it just, it just feels great. Um, and so we've kind of identified all of those people and more to be the, the people who, who would use make VR. And there, there is this fourth group, um, uh, maybe as part of the, the other group, but uh, I like to get in here and just start chopping things up. <laughs> just start playing, uh, you know, changing colors, changing uh, uh, textures, making something, going inside of it, uh, using that against something else, make a mistake, uh, and then take advantage of it, exploit that mistake, you know, find that, uh, you know, 
this looks a lot cooler than what I meant to do, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to delete what I meant to do and go on from there. Uh, and it is this kind of, uh, of uh, an adventure is kind of uh, overblown, but it is kind of a creative adventure to walk in there, create things that surprise you, and uh, end up on the other side with something you never imagined, uh, com completely unpremeditated, and now you're you've got this thing that you could even print in 3D. So uh, let me uh, tell you just the, the very basics. So uh, the, the Razor Hydra has uh, uh, triggers and bumpers. The bumpers are the top ones. Uh, and you grab space with the trigger in either hand. Um, that red ball is going to be kind of the center of your scale and, and rotation. If you tell the average person on the street that same statement, uh, it has no meaning at all. <laughs> so we put this ball at the center of rotation and we say, put the ball where you want to, you know, where you're interested. And now we rotate about that point. That point is kind of guaranteed to stay within arm's length. So I can always reach this object as long as I do my rotations and scales about that point. Um, grabbing objects is a bumper, and just simply, uh, right now I'm grabbing the world with one hand uh, while I'm holding an object with the other hand, and uh, at some point you just start doing that. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the real one. <laughs> Guys, huh? intense you were even hotter, hotter than the real one. Real one, don't feel this bad. <laughs> well, that is the first. Awesome. Zombies of the holodeck, no reaction. Roller coaster, she rips it off. Close your eyes for a second. Okay. I think spacewalk just messed something up. That's crazy, right? Yes. Look Alex up and down. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> don't be weird about it. Don't be creepy, dude. Don't be Whoa. creepy. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like I'm hearing you about saying Alex. It's just really odd. Alright. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna pull you out. Alright. Alright, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs>